okay now we're in the part two so it's demo time and I made this really fast it's not uh, nowhere near optimized uh, there might be a bunch of mistakes in the code that uh, I could make it much faster and then here the most interesting part was to test the Helsinki NLP like transformer models so uh, like no uh, effort was put to searching like the latest uh, audio to text models so like uh, this uh, transform and TTTS models or something like that so the main point was just to demo the capability to throw this like 100 line that are Python together to transform uh, spoken text from uh, one language to another. So let's go now through this. So here we have basic imports, some uh, with time, VLC, so for the VLC player we use it later for something. Uh, you have to play the audio file. Mm. Then we import the GTTS, so Google Text to Speech. And if you want to check all the available languages with the Google Text to Speech, you can run this on your command line here. So, and it will output all the GTTS like language codes. Then we will import the speech recognition library and then the neural machine translation libraries. Uh, then we will configure the mm, speech recognition. So here I'm using my microphone. So like this. And here I specify the language which I'm going to speak in this video. And here you can find the available languages. So I'm going to use finish as said. Mm. Then here are the neural machine translation configurations. So uh, here I give the source language and then the target language. And here are all the available uh, models. There are now currently 1011 different models uh, with varying like metrics. So some of these are better, some are worse, but there are really many of these, so check it out if you want to test it for a language. Hopefully it is here, so. Then we get the language for the GTTS, so the, uh, this is going to be always the target language. And here we define the model name, so the, it's like always with the same like format. So as again, it'll be Opus MT, and then the source and the target languages. And then you get the model and the tokenizer with that model name. Uh, here in the beginning of the loop, in the First part we just uh, want an input, so press enter to start the recording of the first uh, file, and we uh, initiate or make initial file number uh, the P0. 
Then we have the microphone as source, and then we start the loop. So we increment the file number by one, and then we adjust the uh, recording of my microphone. So uh, it will listen for half a second, and it will try to listen to the background noise. So if there is some like white noise, it records or something. Uh, constant in the background it tries to filter it out so that it uh, can capture the speech and just the speech not the background noise then we try to uh, listen to the audio from the source so from a microphone and if it like finds audio uh, here we just give it a file name and mp4, like mp3 target file names, which we will use later. And then we just print out the numbers and the file names. Uh, then we uh, write the like audio to a file. Uh, this is because uh, it can recognize the audio a bit better at least based on my testing but I'm not really sure but at least for me it felt so that if I would write this to a file it then can recognize the audio better so here we write it to a file and then we take the audio file uh, and feed it to the uh, Google's API for the speech recognition. So we, we use the recognize Google. And here we inform that, yeah, we're speaking Finnish, which was given here. So now we have recognized uh, audio or did we got the text from audio here uh, it will print out what it heard in the audio and here we will feed then the recognized text to the neural machine translation model a patch and then we just uh, run this through the model and then get back the words then we will use the GTTS so we have now the uh, text in the target language so here, as we specified, it was, I guess, Swedish. Yes. And then we will uh, use that text and then GTTS, so Google Text to Speech, to save that as an audio file. So the Swedish text will be transformed to a Swedish audio file with GTTS. Then we will uh, just use the VLC. So here we use the VLC, which was imported in the beginning, uh, to play the file. And then in the end, we will just delete the MP3 file. And here we want uh, the user to press enter for yet another uh, go. So that's basically it. And let's test it once. So
Moi, mitä kuuluu? Hei, hyvä Minulle kuuluu hyvää. Joo, mun bra. Okay, there we have Swedish and hopefully I have time for yet some other language. Let's test German. On kaunis päivä tänään. Ein schöner Tag heute. Ajattelin tänään katsoa jalkapalloa. Ich wollte mir heute football ansehen. Okay, I think you get the point, so... It works quite fine for like a normal basic sentences and with like a clear pronunciation. So that was part two. Leave a comment. Uh, give me a like if you liked the video. I'm not yet sure what I will post next. There is some demand for like SageMaker stuff out there to run SageMaker uh, training job in uh, custom containers. That might be one. But if you have ideas, so just leave a comment. But see you and until next time.